Hey everybody, uh, this would be pretty uh, pretty short exercise in building uh, the standard deviation function in Python. So uh, before we actually write, start writing the code, a quick uh, few words on why a standard deviation calculation is so much required for any data science project. And uh, the reason is that uh, this is what is required for transforming the data. So uh, the large data can be modeled and can be prepared for building models. And the most uh, time consuming aspect of uh, any data science project is this uh, uh, tra data transformation. Uh, however, even before you begin the transformation part, you need to understand the data. And by understanding the data, I mean you have to know its key identifying characteristics such as uh, its statistical feature, its um, mean, standard deviation, what kind of distribution it follows, for example, normal, Poisson, log normal, etc. Uh, let's take a classic example of how this is implemented uh, by using standard deviation to clean up the data and to remove outliers. Uh, say, for example, we have millions of data points with significant degree of outliers and the outlier portion of the data are the ones with a very high or very low values. In this case, I need to remove these outlier values because they will make the scales on my graph unrealistic. The challenge was that the number of these outlier values will never be stable. Sometimes they would get all the valid values and sometimes these erroneous data points would cover up as much as 10% of the overall data points. So uh, a very regular the common approach we can take in this kind of circumstances is to um, remove the outlier points by eliminating any points that are above mean plus two standard deviation and any points below mean minus two standard deviation before plotting them. So, uh, okay, so this was uh, a little bit background on the standard deviation. Now let's um, quickly start on the actual code. Um, okay, uh, so I'm for the uh, for the ID I'm using PyCharm. Yes, square root. Okay. Let's first define the function mean uh, because that will be recorded. On the right side, you can obviously see the um, uh, standard deviation formula. It's a very classic and uh, very well-known formula. So uh, the main thing is before I go to the actual standard deviation calculation, the function needs a mean, uh, mean function. So let me define the mean function here. Numbers. Okay, if length of the elements, that is numbers here, not zero. Uh, if the length of the elements are more than zero, only then I'm doing the calculation, the return. Yes numbers divided by uh, the total number of elements length numbers okay and if the length is not more than zero which is uh, that means the array does not have any elements at all then just uh, return float all right. Um, okay, and of course uh, we need to know that NAND does not mean that a value is not a valid number. It's just part of the IEEE floating point representation to specify that a, a particular result is undefined. For example, zero by zero. Uh, and the float. What the why I'm using the float function here is uh, that float function converts the specified value, a number or a string into a floating point number but in python float function also accepts words like nan infinity uh, both in lower and upper case so uh, in this particular case uh, float will return me uh, nan for example if uh, uh, float float nan would uh, be equal to nan uh, sorry, yep. Okay, so all right now I have the mean function and now I need to uh, get the 
uh, standard deviation, the actual standard deviation function defined. So let's start on that. Uh, I'll just name it std dev. Okay. It would take an array of numbers and lean numbers. Again, same logic. I will only do this calculation for an array with uh, valid elements. Array with elements. Uh, average variable would be the uh, implementation of the function we just defined above. Mean numbers. Okay. And let's create a variable. The variance here. Yep. Let's create a variance which would be some. Uh, so here I'm implementing the actual uh, function that you see on the right side at the top. Uh, that is the full variance function without the square root, of course, first. So sum i. i is the current element minus I have to get the mean as avg. And I have to square it for i in numbers. Okay. Oh, so sorry, I have made a mistake here. So this should be And the whole thing need to be divided by the length of the elements, alien. Uh, just one quick key point here that in the formula that you see on the uh, denominator, that that's uh, denominator is n minus one because uh, there uh, it's assumed to be a sample standard de deviation. That is, they take a sample of the overall set of data and to normalize it, we are dividing the whole data by n minus one instead of n. There's some more theories into it, and that's a, a more detailed topic. So we need to uh, study that separately. But in this particular uh, formula, I'm just taking the direct numbers. That is, uh, I'm assuming it's a. Uh, I'm calculating the standard deviation for the whole population of the data, so I do not have to do the adjustment with n minus one. Uh, okay, so this is my variance, and now I need the. Um, uh, result of this calculation, which will be a square root. So, S T N D A D standard deviation equal to S Q R T V A R variance, and that's all I need. And I'm just going to return it. Return standard deviation. Else. Return float. Float. The same logic here. If uh, the array does not have any elements, then it's an undefined situation. We're just returning float nan. Okay. Now let's um, try with a, try this. Try implementing this function. So I am first defining an array. I already have an array. I'm just copying that whole array. So this is my data set. It's uh, just an array with numbers and we are going to calculate print. I need std. Okay, so we are going to just implement this function. Let's run it. Okay, so the result is one Point two nine zero nine 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 etc. Okay, so all right. So this is a first implementation of our pretty simple. There is no complexity at all in this and pretty uh, uh, readable code uh, for calculating the standard deviation. Okay, so till now uh, we calculated the standard deviation using plain vanilla Python, but now let's make use of 
uh, first uh, I'll make use of the statistics module of Python and then also pandas and numpy so let's start with statistics um, import statistics first and I also need the same data set uh, this array that we had and note that statistics uh, is quite useful for uh, general simple statistical calculations but of course it's not comparable with the more powerful uh, pandas and numpy uh, packages but for general small calculation statistics is quite useful and handy so let's uh, i will just directly print here because statistics has its built-in function for calculating standard dev uh, so i will just print yes statistics dot and the function for statistics is um, stdev and that takes the array okay let's run this okay note i got the standard deviation here as um, this one and note that for the previous our uh, uh, plain vanilla we got a standard deviation of 1.29099 and so on and now we are getting slightly different and uh, I will revisit this point uh, in a short while but let's uh, move on for now uh, so that was statistics now let's do the same thing with pandas uh, and for pandas I need to import okay let's increase the size pandas SPD I need the same uh, data set which is and pandas also has okay before I uh, uh, apply pandas I first have to create the series uh, uh, from this array so pandas let's pay pandas underscore ser series this is just a variable name and that would be pd dot s e r i s and that would take the array and this would create just a series uh, which is an array uh, here and uh, now I will I will directly print the function for um, standard deviation of pandas and that would be pd oh, sorry uh, I have to apply that function on this series so that would be panda series dot std that's the name of the function let's see what it prints cool so I got the output as okay uh, again uh, note the difference between this is slightly higher compared to what we got with our uh, plain vanilla calculation uh, and this is the same the value the pun the output of pandas is the same with what we got with using statistics and the difference again I will revisit it in a couple of minutes uh, and now do the same calculation with numpy as well import numpy as np I need the array data and uh, numpy also has a ready-made function I can directly print it np dot and the function name is std that would take the array let's see what if I run this okay cool I got the return as this okay now uh, why we got the difference is mainly because of uh, the uh, topic we we're discussing at the start of the video that uh, the denominator of the standard deviation calculation that you see on the right side is n minus 1 and that's for sampling distribution that is when the sample on which you are calculating the standard deviation is slightly is lower than the overall population of the data and that's why it needs to be adjusted so numpy so note the difference 
when we calculated our standard deviation based on pure plain vanilla python we did not make that adjustment we just divided the divisor that is the denominator was just length of the numbers array that is the number n not n minus 1 and uh, that is because we assume that this will be uh, a whole population standard deviation calculation but statistics package by default it uses sampling standard deviation that is a denominator of the equation in their std ev function is not n it is n minus 1 again in uh, pandas i got the same pandas also uses sampling standard deviation by default and the denominator would be n minus 1 not n and then finally the numpy it's slightly different than pandas because pandas numpy is like our uh, plain vanilla calculation that is numpy by default uses uh, standard devi population standard deviation that is the denominator here uh, is not n minus 1 it's n and actually you can control it uh, when you are using numpy and uh, let's actually see the documentation they have a nice documentation so So they have a parameter called uh, DDoF, uh, degree of uh, freedom, uh, something like that, uh, NumPy documentation. Okay, let's start for STD. Okay, this is their uh, documentation and you can see there's a parameter, optional parameter of course this is, uh, it's called delta degree of freedom. Uh, the divisor used in calculation is n minus ddof where n represents the number of elements by default ddof is zero that's fantastic so what it means is that if we uh, let's go back to our code uh, so this simple calculation uh, gave this result now let's do the same calculation using ddof print np dot std pass the array and the second optional parameter I will pass as the ddof parameter ddof equal to uh, let's pass 1 and remember what we just saw in the documentation that if we pass ddof whatever number we pass that will be the uh, that will be included in this calculation that is the denominator in that case will be n minus ddof so if we do 1 for our ddof value then it would be n minus 1 let's run this cool do you see the difference uh, yeah so now I got uh, I got the result as 1.369 which is the same as what we got with statistics package of uh, Python and also pandas so that's the difference that by default numpy will calculate uh, the whole population standard deviation but you can control it if you want pop this, uh, if you want a sampling standard deviation you can pass the ddof parameter accordingly and uh, I would just cup take a couple of more seconds to explain a little bit more on this that uh, this uh, why we need this that if we select uh, the rule of thumb you can remember that if you are using uh, a standard deviation uh, for a sample then use this ddof as one and if you are you if you are calculating the standard deviation for the whole population of the data then you do not need this adjustment in that case you just uh, assume the you just pass the n value as n no adjustment and the reason is that if we select a random sample of n elements from a larger distribution and calculate the variance division by n can lead to an underestimate of the actual variance to fix this we need to lower the number uh, and by by lowering means we divide by uh, by the degree of freedom to a number less than n usually n minus 1 so the ddof parameter allows us changing the divisor by the amount we specify uh, okay so I think uh, that is all about this video thank you very much for watching